morning everyone I'm back out uh, back on my ancient permission uh, on my own this afternoon uh, the raft man is working uh, I've actually come up to uh, an area where I first come when I first started metal detecting ever and this little field here is called the seven queens uh, the ones of you that have been sub to me since the start of my channel uh, you would have seen a lot of lot of coins get dug off here and even before my channel uh, there's buckets of coins come off here and I'm not exaggerating uh, there's a public footpath that actually goes right through and those trees uh, over there are the seven queens it's amazing permission this uh, just on this bank here uh, I actually found a couple of Edward III groats and took them to get recorded and they were classed as treasure trove they're actually in the uh, Bangor Museum now and there's been a couple of other hammers which have come off there too and lots and lots of silvers and this field next door I'll just raise you up on my shovel might be a bit windy uh, that's called the Queen Anne field where there's five or six Queen Anne coins come off there and some William III and some other night silvers as well now uh, I'm out today with the CTX3030 with a 17 inch coil and what the plan is is I'm actually going to go back through this permission very very slowly now every um, sweet sounding target here has been dug in the whole place so everything's been cherry picked and the only signals that you're going to get here now are the iffy signals where there's numbers are rubbish and you've just got to go on the sounds and it's a bit of a gamble going down um, now I've wiped this place out uh, I've just dug two signals here before one was like a bit of like copper wire and the other bit was a fragment of copper and I had another target here which was very very scratchy but it was bouncing to 1345 and then it was going to silly numbers like 3547 and after digging out all the rocks and things uh, out, out comes a coin I know there's nothing special this place is bashed to hell bashed to hell and there's still coins here now this has come out at a good 9 inches maybe 10 inches so this is all I'm going to get here now these scratchy signals and that could have easily been a silver uh, I can see Britannia there so that's going to be George 3 that to tell by the style of the coin wow the ctx is on fire i'm actually detecting the speed of a tortoise i'm going so slow yeah and i picked up another scratchy target i'm just going to stab you in right scratchy target you're looking at about uh, 10 inches down again numbers were rubbish and look another coin i have bashed this place to death with the Ace 250, Euro Ace, AT Pro, XP Deus. Um, I've had another two, three people here metal detecting with me. And look, another coin. I know it's nothing much like, but it's another coin. Uh, probably going to be George 3. Keep on gridding this field now. And I'll see you at the next target, hopefully. On to the next. I've dug three targets uh, since I last filmed. I'll just show you these quick. There was this. Don't know what that is. That was about eight inches down. Really poor signal. And there was this, which I thought was going to be a window sash. But I've not got a clue. Strange. But you know, both finds are non ferris and both scrap. Uh, there was a really scratchy signal here. I'm actually enjoying digging these scratchy signals. And eight inches down you can just see the pro point is only sticking out a bit and it looks like an old a fragment of an old georgian shoe buckle this place has been pounded to death and look it's a shame that the rest of it's not there like uh, maybe that's why it's been missed because it's not complete but there you go let's keep on going all right i'll just just fill that one in and I'll show you something over here. I think there's been someone else metal detecting here. I don't know if they've got permission or if they're hawking, but they're very untidy. Uh, you can see there, stone, soil, and I can just make out there. Just going along there as a shovel mark, I'm going that way and that way. So the plug was turned 
that way. I don't know if it's someone that watches my videos or what, but uh, something was dug out of there. But you know, I'm really not bothered because I've bashed this place to death and I think you need the CTX, the 17 inch coil now. The target from down there was only ringing in at 12.05, well it was very scratchy before that. Um, it's ringing 12.05 now, now that is too low of numbers for it to be a penny, but I do believe it's a coin. I've not got a clue. I know our modern pennies ring in like the 1240s. Well, that's yeah, 12.05. I haven't got a clue. It's pretty light as well. Okay, let's keep on going. Right, I've just cleaned the crust off this. And it's... I could see Queen Elizabeth there looking to the right. Young head, Queen Elizabeth. And turning it over... Uh, you probably won't see it through the GoPro, but that is a sixpence uh, Cooper Nickel because 50% uh, silver had finished. Uh, and I could see just there's a sixpence, and I can see one, nine, five, I think it's 1954. This one was a really scratchy signal. Uh, you can see I've had to go down nine inches, just kept on pouring the spoil out there. Uh, and then eventually there was a 12.32, nothing to write home about, but uh, it's another button, I had, was it nine buttons on my last video, so dig those iffy signals. Good afternoon everyone, right this is part two to this hunt, uh, back in the Seven Queens, uh, yesterday I started from the fence line there and just going up and down, up and down. I actually didn't go over the hump there, um, up and down, right as far as the uh, the public path gate here. So I've actually done half, well, maybe a bit more than half. So I'm actually going to carry on now from this line here and then actually going towards the Queen's. Uh, back with the CTX, the 17 inch coil. Uh, I'm just trying out some new headphones today. Uh, I did have Grey Ghost headphones on yesterday. But I've actually purchased these. These are the uh, waterproof ones that plug straight into the uh, detector. Uh, I know it's not a proper test because the proper test will be when um, I actually take them in the water. Um, the plan this summer, I want to try some river detecting and maybe go into the sea as well. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give these a go today to make sure that the you know the sound quality is good and all that. And I think that's it really. Uh, once I finish these queens, the next time I actually come back here, I'll actually be going over the fence there in the Queen Anne field and I'll be gridding out a different way to what I've ever done before. So, on to the next. Today, uh, just on the path line, it's about seven, eight inches down. All right, it's, it's only a button. Well, I've done well on my buttons over the last few weeks. Uh, next target, a very faint target. Uh, no numbers again, but I could just see like a little squeak coming through and I thought it was going to be a little coin, but yeah, you guessed it. A very, very tiny button. Right, I had the target here. Uh, the sounds were only good one way. Uh, the numbers were really bad again. I've been actually been digging under the stroop for ages and I didn't really want to break it. Um, and then I've just hooked out a find. Uh, a good nine inches. And it's an old buckle. That looks a really nice old buckle, I, I like that. I haven't got a clue how old that would be. I'm no good with buckles, so Pete will probably date this for me. Oh, I made up of that. Right, this target was a very scratchy signal. I don't think that's going to be a silver coin. I'm sure it's going to be a pewter button. I haven't touched it yet. Let's see. Oh, it's not looking promising, is it? No, that's a button there. Oh, I'm having a hell of a run with buttons. time now, uh, just to show you around. I've uh, gridded all this over the last two days. I've been here today just over two hours. Was it about three hours just this? Oh, it's about five hours detecting here. And I just finished off on here, and this is where I found the, uh, the Edward Groats. And now, there's no target on here at all. This is this is dead, this now. So, um, yeah, that's where I'll be going next. 
going after all the iffy signals in the Queen Anne field. Uh, and there's a saying uh, which Mal Potter told me, if there's Queen Anne coins, there's going to be gold there. So I'm hoping to get my first gold coin in there. Right, uh, made up of the CTX. I just love the 17 inch coil, I do. It's, it's great. G great coverage, it's very sensitive. Uh, the Grey Ghost headphones, the waterproof ones, uh, I found in the start of the hunt when it was windy. Did you see those holes? Now I think they're drainage holes for when you go in the water, you know, the water will just run out. And you could just hear the wind blowing into them, but um, when it's not windy, brilliant headphones block out all the sound. Uh, so I'll just be using these now in the water when I start that type of detecting. Okay, this is after five hours detecting in total. Uh, no pressure's metal. Uh, I did try my best, but uh, this Seven Queens has been hammered. And I'm just surprised to have this many finds. So, you know, this is a good, honest hunt. Uh, I did get a pound coin today, the sixpence. Uh, this bit of white lead, that was pretty deep That Really scratchy signal, really scratchy. And I think that's my best find over the five hours is this buckle. Um, not sure how old it is yet. Uh, I will find out. Several buttons. This one got me before. That would have been great if that was a silver just to finish it off here. Uh, bone handle pen knife. And I think that's it really. Yes. I don't know when I'm out next. Uh, might be out on the weekend with uh, the RAF man. I've not made contact with him yet. So I don't know where that's going to be yet, if it's going to be in one of his permissions or if we're going to come on to this permission. Okay, so thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing. I'll be uploading another video soon. Take care, all the best, good luck and happy hunting.